Hey, have you ever heard of this podcast called Chatting from the Word? No. What's it about? It's about Christianity and enlightenment. Period, queen. You tell them. Yeah. <laughs> Dipping. I'm living in this moment because of you, and I want to thank you and praise you Your grace and mercy Amen and amen, your grace, your grace and mercy brought us through. 
Thank you, Jesus. Have mercy. It is 2 o'clock and it's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York, where we are chatting uh, on your speaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word and from the Word. And putting a snap in your Christian walk. Amen. And we are so glad, so glad to do that. And we are so blessed to do that. Let me explain something to my listeners. Uh, we change up on our singer of uh, God's grace and mercy from Wayne Williams to Harold Robinson. And I just think sometimes a, good, a change is good. Every six months we're going to do that because I love both renditions of that song. And both brothers do a fantastic job. And singing that beautiful, beautiful song. Don't you think so? Brother Yorkus, and I love both of them. Ah, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome every one of you to the program once again. We are so delighted to be coming on at the 2 o'clock hour, hoping to put a snap in your Christian walk. But first of all, let me apologize for the one on yesterday that we shared with you. In the beginning, we had it kind of low, and as I said, I was at a, the, my other uh, studio, which was not up to par. So we had that uh, problem there. But I want to thank you all for hanging in there and listening to the program. You, got, you did, Brother Oscar Hart, so good. Some good, and I appreciate all of you. Don't think Brother Oscar don't. But Brother Oscar, really do. I appreciate you hanging in there with me and listening to our program. And I believe we may have all the kinks out. We don't know until we <laughs> Until we hear the show being aired, and man, me do the uh, when we do the uh, you know the editing of uh, the the program. So uh, that's what happened on yesterday, and I believe we might have it all fixed. We'll see you later on, and uh, we're so glad. We're so glad that you're with us and that you are hanging in there with your brother here, brother Oscar. New York. You know, the Lord has blessed us all with another wonderful, wonderful day. We that are on this side of heaven, giving us a second chance, another chance to make it right with Him, another chance to walk closer and closer with Him. It was David who said in Psalm 118, Division, uh, verse 28, This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. And be uh, glad in it. Amen. Amen. And amen. I don't know. Well, that's verse 24. <laughs> uh, Psalm 118, verse 24. But I don't know about you, my friends, but I am so glad. I am so glad the Lord has given us another day, another day to uh, get it right with Him, another day to spend some time with each other. And to love him more and more and more. It's just a blessing to be in Jesus Christ. And I don't know how you all feel about it, but I, I, I'm happy to to be in the Lord and allow the Lord to wake me up this morning to see a day that I have never witnessed before. That is just a blessing. And if this be your first time listening to the program, don't allow it to be your last time. Come back and listen some more. Here on setting from the word. Amen, amen, amen. We're so glad that you're listening in that you have your ears on. We're here in Dayton, Ohio. We are doing fantastic. 
watched it. <laughs> Bro, Oscar can use it. Fantastic. We have some. Okay, okay, weather. It's all right. It's all right. Is uh, the, the weather people say? Let me, let me tell you what the weather people says now. This is not Brother Oscar talking. <laughs> all right. The weather people say it's 78 degrees, mostly sunny. Now, get that now. Mostly sunny. With no precipitation expected tonight. Humidity is at 46%. Dew point is at 54 degrees and pressure is at 30. Amen, amen, and amen. That sounds like okay uh, day to me and I hope where you are in the world that you're having a great day where you are and the Lord is blessing you too. Amen, amen, and amen. But you know what Brother Oscar says. Regardless what's going on on the outside. It can be raining cats and dogs. It can be 50 feet of snow at my door. But as long as I have the Son of God, I have sunny days every day, 24-7. I have the S-O-N, the Son of God. What about you? And I know you have them because you have your ears on and you listen to your brother here, uh, Brother Oscar York. Amen, amen. And amen. Again, uh, we have a wonderful program for you today. Of course, we're back uh, teaching on our lesson, The Natural Branches. And let me apologize uh, to you all. We should be friends with this lesson, but we had so many interruptions this last week and this week. It's been a hard week for Brother Oscar. But, you know, the good thing is we are hanging in there to, to receive this lesson and to learn how to grow more in the grace of Jesus Christ. That is the beautiful thing. But first, we're going to do our prayer time. We're going to play our prayer anthems with our prayer song by Radiant a cappella. And the song after the prayer will be a cappella, Abba, Father. And we're going to take a break. And we come back. We're going to come back with your lesson, the natural branches. And what Brother Oscar wants you to do, when we get to that part of the program, have your Bible out and turn to Romans 11, verses 20, uh, verses 15 to 25, and we can get on with the teaching and uh, talking about this fine, fine lesson that Paul is is uh, have wrote or uh, teaching to the Roman church and, and for us to today. So, my friends, we hope that you have your ears on and be ready to hear that fine, uh, fine uh, lesson. Amen and a, a man. So, my friends, just get relaxed. Go have a, a, a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, so on, so the pop, so the a pop, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just uh, 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 a nice glass of iced tea, uh, a bottle uh, of uh, water, uh, uh, whatever uh, fancy your taste today. And just relax. Just relax. And if you're at home, if you're at home, go ahead and recline in your reclining chair. Or stretch out on your couch or on the floor while you're listening to Brother Oscar here on Chatting from the Word. Now, if you're driving, Trying to get to point A to point B. Keep your eyes on the road, but keep on listening to your brother here, uh, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're in the gym, try to get <laughs> Hercules up. You know, Brother Oscar talking about Hercules up. And if you try, if you try and keep trying, stay in the gym, get toned up. Get lean and mean and green. But at the same time, put your earbuds on while you can continue on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. And we will appreciate that uh, very, very much. Amen and amen. Where are we? Where am I? You all? Where am I? We will be right back after these messages.
Amen, amen, and amen. That was Sweet Hour of Prayer, sung by Radiance Acapella. We love that rendition of Sweet Hour of Prayer that they do. And this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here during our prayer time, all you need to do is just email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can uh, message it to me on our messenger page. Or you can go to our page that is dedicated to our program on Facebook, Chatting from the Word, hosted by your brother Oscar York slash Oscar York Publishing.com. Or you can go to our webpage. Again, it's OssieYorkPublishing.com. Or you can, I believe, you can, uh, if you listen to us live, you can type it in. I believe it will come across the screen. I don't know anymore. I got to check that function out, and I do apologize for that. But again, if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for you, I'm chatting from the Word, just email it to me. But as I look on Facebook, so many of us are standing in need of prayer. You have brothers that in a foreign land trying to teach and preach the gospel and struggling with that, and they need to be prayed for also. So keep our brothers and sisters that's out there in the mission field that's trying to win souls for Christ. Keep them, uh, keep them in our prayers also because it is a mission. And sometimes there's a mission over here just to tell people that live in the U.S. of about Jesus Christ. And they don't start thinking you're crazy or <laughs> Crazy or something. You know what Brother Oscar is talking about. So we need to pray for all those that are truly out there in the field trying to tell us about Jesus Christ. And, and they truly love what they do. They love the Lord and they love Christ. And you must love that kind of love that do that kind of work. And we want to pray for them, pray for, of course, the condition of the world and what the world is going through with the pandemic uh, of our coronavirus. And we pray that it, it gets better. And the schools are, are letting our children go back to school and that my grandson's school wants, wants someone that broke out with the coronavirus and they had to send the children home. You know, this thing, we, we got to take this thing serious. And if you ask Brother Oscar, they should never allow the children to come back to school in the first place. They should allow it to take its course, get rid of them, make some medicines for it, do whatever they need to do to combat this uh, coronavirus. And of course, we've been praying for those that are con uh, contracting it and those that died from it. And of course, those that died at the hands of the policemen and for the church and for the political leaders and for you all, our listeners. But before we approach the throne of grace, I would love to read to you, uh, to you from uh, 1 John, the uh, fifth chapter, we getting beginning at verse 14. And here John, the beloved apostle, write these words. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according, according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Amen. And amen. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, O oh, Father, you are a great God. You are a good Father. You are the King of kings and lords of lords. O oh, Father, we come crying to you with all our petitions. We fall that you know, you know sometimes in this oh, world in which we live in, things do occur and sometimes we as Christians, we get all caught up in that. So Father, just help us to, to, to make it through those things that we get caught up in because of the way the world is 
help us to combat the problems that we're going through because of uh, we living here in this world, Father. Oh, Father, we come uh, praying for those that have contracted the coronavirus. Father, we pray that you will heal their bodies, help the doctors to come up with the remedy to help them to uh, get help, get their health back so that they can, uh, they can uh, be well once again. Father, we pray for those that have lost loved ones to this disease. Father, we pray that you be with them, help them to make it through their morning stage, their morning stage. Put your loving arms around them, allow them to know that they're hanging there, everything would be all right. And Father, we're praying for those that have lost loved ones to the hands of the police. Police, I, we know, Father, they supposed to be here to defend and protect. But, Father, when they turn the guns on the citizens and kill us for nothing, Father, it's time. Sometimes we just have to cry to you and cry to you and cry to you, Father. And, Father, we just thank you for you listening to us. Oh, Father, we pray for the political world at this time. We pray for the president at this time. Father, we pray that he does what's right. Make law that's comfortable for all of us to live by so that we can have peace and harmony. Oh, Father, we pray for the body of Christ, the church of Christ at this time. Father, during this pandemic, help us to remain being the church. Help us to continue on loving one another. Help us to continue on standing on all the firm foundation, being one being your son, Jesus Christ. Father, help us to continue on standing on the uh, words of Christ and have a need for Christ in our lives. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them. Help them through the mountains that they must go through. Help them through the storm that they are weathering. Help them through the many obstacles that they are facing, Father. Help them to always trust and have faith and depend on you. Oh, Father, we come praying those that's out there in the foreign fields to try, trying to do mission work, trying to win souls for Christ, Father. We recognize that's not an easy job to do because it gets hard here. It gets hard here, and we're supposed to have everything to do the work with. But, Father, we pray for those that are doing it in foreign lands where they don't have as much as we have. Father, we pray that you be with their spirit, be with their love for you, be with their love for all souls. And Father, we come praying for our program here, Chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep it on the air. Help us that we may be the light in every community we are heard in. Help us to teach your Word. Father, help us to always put a snap in the Christian walk. And Father, help us with the lesson today, the natural branches. Father, help me to say something that may help someone to grow in grace. Help me to say something that may cause someone to step out the world of darkness into your marvelous light. And Father, we can come praying for all those that we've been praying for for quite some time. Father, keep on being with them. Help them through the crisis that they are going to be with them. Guide them and strengthen them. Of course, Father, I pray for myself. Help me to find a roof, to get a roof over my head also, and to uh, be be able to do this job more effectively, Father. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for praying along with us. And we hope and pray that we pray for something that was on your minds. And again, you can always uh, email me your prayer request. If you have a prayer request that you want for the hospital to pray for here on chatting from the word. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We hope you still have your ears on, and we hope that you still listen to your brother here, Brother Oscar York, on Chatting from the Word through your Spreaker platform, where we're chatting about the Word and from the Word, and putting a snap in your Christian walk.
And we are we are so glad to do it. We are so glad to do it. And we hope that you still have your ears on, that you're listening, and that you I love what Bill Oscar is bringing to the airwaves. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages. All right, we are back. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> and uh, we are so we are so glad to be back. We are so glad. Uh, to be with you on this beautiful, beautiful day uh, that the Lord has allowed all of us on this side of heaven to see. You know, we we have a Lord that loves to bless us. He's in the blessing business. I don't know no one who won't love the Lord because he had done so much for us. Amen and amen. And it shouldn't be a, a big thing to give back to him. It shouldn't be. And give back to his work. It shouldn't be. Make donation to a, a beautiful cause. It shouldn't be, but I guess for some of us, some of us, it is. It is. You know, you you look at it like this. Look at it like this. It's the Lord's money anyway. Why not give it to a cause to win souls for Christ? I believe that's the most beautiful thing you can do is to give, give, give for the cause of Christ. And here on Chatting from the Word, that's all we do. We study, we get on the radio, we we, we tell others about Jesus Christ, try to put a snap in others' life, try to teach others uh, lessons that let me grow by. So, at this part of the program, you know how we do. We ask for our uh, for sponsorship, if you can sponsor the show, or if you can give a donation, any amount will do. And here's my sister. From Texas, Wanda Sassu, with all the uh, details. Thank you, sis. We appreciate that very much. And we love the job that she does. Oh, man, I couldn't do it. I tried to do it yesterday. As you can see, I got all twisted up and tongue-tied and everything else. Thank you, Wanda. We appreciate what you do for the program. She does a lot for the program. If I just had five more like her, I believe this program will grow, grow, and grow. Amen. And uh, amen. I know you have years on, and I know you're listening. If you're listening to us today, share this program with your friends on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on all the uh, the networks that you come on. Tell your friends about chatting from the Word, that we're chatting about the Word and from the Word. And if you uh, really care about the love of Jesus Christ and love of all souls, share the show. Please do that. Uh, share the show and tell others about us here at Chatting from the Word. And while you're sharing the show, like us here. Like us here on, on uh, Chatting from the Word through Spreaker platform. We appreciate it that you we appreciate it that you do. And of course, join us here. Be a part of our family here at Chatting from the Word. Uh, uh, subscribe to us. Subscribe to us. Ma'am, you are not subscribing. And if you care about what Brother Oscar is doing here on Chatting from the Word, subscribe to us. Help us to keep this fine program on the air. That's one way you can do it is subscribe. Not just to this show, but our show on YouTube. I need about at least a thousand subscribers. And if you can help Brother Oscar to reach that point of a, th- of a thousand subscribers on my show, on our show on YouTube, it would be very very much appreciated. Again, on that show, if you want to join me, you can. I, I'm, I'm still going to film it, but uh, uh, if you want to join me at the time the film comes out, eat your breakfast right along with me. I will appreciate 
that. Amen. And uh, uh, a a man. Um, if you, I'm trying to think about <laughs> what I need to say. If you want to talk with your brother, I'm the untouchable. You remember the story, the uh, series or the detective series? You come on back in the fifties or sixties called the Untouchables. I'm the untouchable. I can be touched, and if you ever want to have a conversation, with brother Oscar, just you text. That's just text me. Send a text to my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York three four four three at gmail dot com, or you can uh, uh, make it uh, put a text on our show at chatting from the the word, and I show up on our page on Facebook, chatting from the word, hosted by Brother Oscar York, right slash Oscar York Publishing dot com. Or you can go to our web page and, and uh, put a line or two there. And our web page address again is Oscar York Publishing dot com. And why you there? Why you on our web page? Your brother do have a bookstore. I have authored two books. My first book, which is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, which sells for twenty one fifty, and Bridges of Friendships, which also sell for twenty one fifty. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are forty three dollars. And we hope that you do that. Do that today, right after the show. And maybe I'm not saying our uh our uh, web page uh, uh clear enough. My webpage is OscarYorkPublishing.com and visit my webpage and order you a book and read. Now, you know, Brother Oscar Marto, I say it every day on the air. When you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. Yes, it does. So go visit OscarYardPubSheet.com today and order you a book and read. Amen. And amen. Now, the internet networks would come on is VLC, Lab, Joyce Van, Chrome WebView, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PaulPlayer.net, Chrome ListenNote.com, Parchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tombaugh Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox Podcasts, Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, Visit your Google Play app store and download the Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up. Chatting from the Word, hosted by your brother here, Brother Oscar. And once you find it, put us in your favorite so that when uh, 2 o'clock come Monday to Fridays and Saturdays at 7, if we don't have any mishaps, uh, we will be on and you can be prepared and ready to hear a fine program from us here at Chatting from the Word. <laughs> amen and amen. Now, for the selection of our song, and the only song we're going to play today on this program here, the only, uh, the rest of the songs we play, you know, it's regular prayer time, a three hour prayer, and uh, uh, God, grace, and mercy. Uh, those are regular songs that we just normally play here. But this song here, it's, it's a beautiful song. I played it, I believe, on the show the other day, and I just, I, I love it because it has a true meaning to it, okay? And if you listen to it, just grab all the words and help those words, allow those words to help you see God and the need of, 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 of knowing our Father and needing our Father and crying out to Him. And here they are. The acapella, the aca, acapella with Abba, Abba, Father. Somebody feels hopeless. Somebody 
somebody to stand. Somebody walks a path alone, watching others walk around and pass. Somebody's in the street now. Somebody's in doubt. Somebody has no place to go. Somebody cries out, singing. Amen, amen, and amen. That was Abba Father from the acapella, and God's an awesome God, sung by praise and harmony. My friends, our Lord is definitely awesome. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. And basically, I don't know anyone who won't want to be in his body, which is the church. He's an awesome God. Awesome God. He's just not God. He's Lord God. Amen. And amen. And sometimes we need to just cry. Abba. Father. Abba. Father. And that's just simply saying, Father. Father. 
Father, help us of what we're going through down here on this cruel, cruel world. Amen and amen. We will be right back with the message after these messages. All right, all right, we are back. And we are glad to be back. And we hope that you have your ears on. And I know you can hear me charging my pages. I'm trying to get ready for the lesson. I've been having a busy day all day trying to get it, get the system up and running right. And I hope we have it running right. And we hope that we can uh, air this program after uh, uh, we do some editing to you. And we hope and pray that we can uh, do that. And I, I love this part. This is the best part of the program that we are teaching the lesson because I believe the lessons are here are of uh, Paul, the Apostle Paul writes, his writing is very beautiful. They are there to instruct all of us. That's why this letter that Paul wrote to the Roman church is good for us today. We can live by what Paul said here today because he wrote on a basis for everybody, not just for the Roman church. But anyone can read it, even at that time. But we can read it today and really learn how to grow in grace of God. And in this lesson, this lesson is a very powerful lesson, the way uh, Brother York looks at it. He's saying the natural branches, the natural branches. And he's saying that if the natural branches be cut off, man, that's something else. Paul is saying the natural branches, which are Jews, could be cut off because or some were cut off because of their unbelief. But before before we go on, I want to explain something here. And I said this the other day. I don't know if you heard it. I don't know if it was broadcast or what. But we're going to teach a little bit of that, what we taught then. And in verse, we want to look at verse... 17. And here Paul said, and if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Our fatness simply means strength, get strong, and be strong. And help someone to be strong. And this is what this is talking about here. But I want you to notice one thing. What, what Paul says here. And, and I thought about this the other day. He said. Instead of saying cut off. Because they are in, that, in this lesson. He do say cut off. But he said broken off. Broken off. I don't know about you, but I, I know many of you, if you grew up like me, you grew up in time where mama would tell you, go get that switch for me. Go get that switch! <laughs> uh, especially when you act up, mama always tell you, go get that switch. And, and, and you know mama. Mama want a nice size switch. She didn't want any kind of switch because she was going to whoop your tail. <laughs> I can say that. She's going to whoop your tail. So you know not to get bring mama back a small branch a small switch to whoop you. You know mama want that nice size switch or branch to get after you. And you knew that at the time. So you wasn't going for a small one. Because you, if you brought mama a small switch, that wouldn't do it. She'd go back out there. I'll take you back out there. I'll see you back out there to get one just right. So you know when you go out there and look for that switch, so mama can tan your butt. If I can <laughs> use that term, you know to get a good one. One them with uh, can make that whipping noise. <laughs> No, brother Oscar's talking about. So you find that 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 that, that switch or that branch, and, and you break it off. 
But if you notice when you try to break that bread and chocolate, it gets so tough and so hard to break. You are struggling to break that bread and chocolate. Sometimes you, instead of breaking, you, you're breaking it and you're twisting it and you're doing this to it, try to break it off. And, and, and be, uh, before you know it, you, you, you don't break it off yet. The skin of it start coming off, and you start struggling with it again, and you, and you break it off again, and you try harder and harder and harder, and then you finally break off the switch of the branch. And I believe that's the reason why Paul talked about breaking off. Because sometimes to take a break off or to break off of something, it's a struggle, isn't it? Isn't it? And I believe here, that the natural branch that was broken off had a struggle to be broken off. You, you know what Oscar's talking about? They were struggling to be broken off because they did not understand the gospel of Jesus Christ. They did not understand the power of salvation. They did not understand the power of the cross. So they were struggling with that. They were struggling with the notion of, of Christ being resurrected from the dead. They were struggling with that. And we today, we struggle with it, don't we? We struggle with our beliefs in Jesus Christ. We struggle with understanding that's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. We struggle with what God wants us to do when it comes towards salvation, when it comes about salvation. And you know, if you ask about it, they, are you saved? They would tell you, I don't know. I guess I am. If you fall in God's word, you will know if you're saved or not, my friends. First of all, you've got to be in that body of Christ. And that's a struggle in it. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's a struggle for one to accept Jesus Christ or even to believe in Jesus Christ. It's a struggle. And it was a struggle then like it is today. It is a struggle. But then Paul said these words too. Broken off and thou being a wild olive tree. You the wild olive tree. The, 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 the Israelites with the wild olive tree were grafted in among them and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree. In other words, you're able to join in the goodness, the freshness, the strength of the olive tree. And you know, we use olives for so many Reason. Olive tree has uh, so many properties. The olive have so many properties. We use the oil sometimes to cook with. We use the oil to lotion our body up with. We use the oil to uh, put in our hair so our hair can be straightened out. And sometimes we may drink the olive oil for municipal purposes to make our bodies well again. Olive tree or uh, the olive fruit, or the olive plant has a lot of properties. And here, Paul said to olive tree, comparing the church to the olive tree. And once you join in the, in the body of Christ, the olive tree, or those that believe, you can join in the fatness of the strength of that tree. You know, it's in the church where we can get our strength, my friends. If you're among brothers and sisters, that's really going to help you and not talk about you. And Paul mentioned that in the next verse. He said, That both not against the branches, but if thou both, thou bearest not the root, but the root be. None of us has the right to go and talk about nobody, especially in the body of Christ. Because we are there, we're supposed to be there for one, another, for one another and to help each other to grow strong in the Lord. We're supposed to be a strong olive tree. And when others come in, we're supposed to be able to help them, to soothe them, to help them through their problems, even if they have aches and pains. <laughs> like that. And in verse 19, he said, That was saving. The branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. That's the word again, broken off. And that's the word again, grafted in. And we told you some uh, probably last week ago what grafted in is all about. Here yeah, it's talking about the Gentiles basically being grafted in the body of Christ where salvation is at. Salvation is only in Christ. And for us not to recognize that salvation is only in Christ, we would be most 
people most miserable because we would not have Christ if we don't recognize that being in Christ is where salvation is at. And here, here, Paul is talking about the Gentiles being grafted in the body of Christ. Being grafted in. And then in verse 20, Paul said, well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And I stand by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. In other words, you're broken off. Christ has nothing to do with you being broken off. That's your problem if you're broken off. You're broken off because of what? Unbelief. We call one to be obedient to Jesus Christ. Unbelief. You're broken off because of unbelief. And you know, don't believe in Christ. If you don't believe in Christ, you'd be off. So you must believe in Christ and be obedient to his word. You must be obedient to Christ. You must love Christ. You must trust him. And you must be in obedient to him. I had to straighten that out. I don't want people to say, but y'all say unbelief and obedient. But what I meant to say was, if you are in unbelief, you can't obey him. You got to believe in him trust in him and obey him. And this is what Brother Oscar is saying. And if you don't do those things, there's no way you can be saved. Because number one, if you have unbelief, you're not grafted in, you're not going to be grafted in. And in verse 21 he said, oh let me finish this off. He said, but but be not high minded, but fear. In other words, don't be proud. Be humble. It's too, much, it's too many of us even going to the church. Every Oscar going to say it. We just, some of us got our head, our head in the sky and our tent all, all poked out like we the best thing on God's green earth. But let me tell you something, my friends. That will not get to nowhere with Jesus Christ. Because Paul here said, be not high-minded, but fear. But fear. And it's too many of us think too much of ourselves when we should humble ourselves under the mighty hand of Jesus Christ. And then Paul said in verse 21, For if God spare not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not be. In other words, uh, that breaks down the theory once saved, always saved. Because if, if, if you start to not believe in Christ anymore, Christ will also cut you off or break you off. At this point, he's saying break off. And not because of Christ's purposes, not because it was Christ's idea to break you off. You're broken off. Why? Because of your own belief. Your own belief calls you to be broken off from the olive tree. Amen. Amen. We're ending here. We're going to finish it up. Maybe tomorrow we'll probably finish this lesson. And, and, and we hope that we have shared something to help you grow in Jesus Christ. And for you all that's not in the body of Christ, we hope that we said enough to cause you to see the light where you can come out the world of darkness into Jesus the light the marvelous light of Jesus Christ and be a part of the body of Christ. And the way you become a part, a member of the attitude church, at first you must hear the word. You must believe what you heard. You must confess, uh, you must repent. You must confess Jesus and you must be baptized in the water grave of baptism will connect you to the blood of Christ, and you must live faithful to the end. Now that baptism does not place you in a man-made church. It just don't. That baptism at you, listen to the, 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 the difference here. It doesn't place you in a man-made church, but what it does, it adds you to the body of Christ. You become a family member. You become my sister, or you become 
my brother. Amen and amen. The lesson is yours. I am so delighted to share this lesson with you today. The natural branches. And we hope that we have said something to cause you to grow in Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. We must say our goodbyes right now. We are so delighted to be with you today. And we hope we get a chance to share this fine program with you on today. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, Lord, be thy name. Father, we thank you for this time that to spend with all our listeners. We pray for each listener, Father. We pray that you be with them, go with them, help them through their Christian walk. And Father, we pray for those that are struggling in this world, Father, to be as you want them to be. Sometimes, Father, it's a struggle, but Father, be with us as we struggle to maintain our Christian walk. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion, all the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today from chatting from the Word. Be good and love everybody. Bye-bye.